Hello everyone, I'm Cosmo, welcome to another SnowRunner episode, and as you can see, there's been a bit of a transition, a bit of an abrupt transition. In the last episode, I was in Michigan, there was just mud, greenery, and no sight of snow, and in this episode, I'm in Alaska, with tons of snow and tons of ice. So, Cosmo, what happened, you may ask? Well, let me tell you. Being the pro YouTuber that I am, I lost about 5 minutes of footage where I was actually checking out the garage, pimping out my uh, CK here with you know, some beefier tires and also transporting it to Alaska. So here we are in Alaska and I guess we're at a garage as well so maybe we'll do that right now too. We'll check out the garage see if I can actually drive in here. Oh that is the garage. I don't want to go to the trailer store. I want to go to the garage. This is a trailer store here. You can buy and sell the trailers. You can transport any cargo. Well that's great but I've got a CK. I don't want to transport cargo at the moment. Just let me in. Let me in. Let me in. Sot wanted me to go in there for some reason. I would like to show everybody the garage. Okay, great. Okay, well, you know what? Let's not waste too much time. It seems like it doesn't want me to get in there. Let's go to the trailer depot. Oh boy, the camera's getting all wonky again. There we go. Trailer store. Let's check it out. We can get a scout flatbed. Oh, we can hook up a trailer to this thing. What? That is awesome. Okay, so I can buy and sell trailers. Let's see what else we got. I can get a scout fuel trailer and a small scout flatbed. Interesting. Well, I'm gonna wait to buy a trailer. I just, you know, I want to see what sort of stuff we're gonna be getting into. I think in this episode, I am going to just try and pick up a contract see if i can get her done you know maybe do some drifting do some exploring i still see the garage icon over there so i'm gonna go check it out see if i can actually maybe show you guys the garage oh boy oh boy <laughs> hey there's the garage yeah man the cameras the camera gets a little wonky okay move to garage there we go okay so we've got an awesome customized menu here i think this is really sweet in the other games like spin tires and mud runner you would just hang out in the general area of the garage and there'd be a menu and you'd select your upgrades but here it's actually in your garage you can get a closer look at it this is this is minty so as you can see we can do engine upgrades gearbox upgrades suspension tires you name it we have visual upgrades Oof, change the colors too let's do that is it free it's free nice okay what do we want i actually like the blue and the white to be honest i like the two tones like this is cool but i like the two tone we'll just stick with that for now you know we'll just stick with the blue and white two tone what else do we have here that's about it so we can upgrade we can do our visuals i guess oh i can change the rims yeah these are nicer bumpers are locked Ooh, that's a cool bumper how much money do i got you know what let's let's get a bumper let's pimp this thing out okay rooftop i got <laughs> round beacon honestly that looks kind of cool it looks a little bulky but it looks cool you know what we're not gonna get any of that for now what can we do with the bumper can't do anything with the bumper that's okay side pipe thresholds Eh, I want more clearance. I don't care about that. I don't think I have any suspension or any of those kind of upgrades. Yep, yeah, so it does seem like all this stuff is locked. I can't get a snorkel. I could get a snorkel now. You know what? Let's get a snorkel for it. I don't know how much water crossing we're going to be doing in Alaska, but I mean, it is Alaska, so who knows? Oh, and of course, you have all your empty slots for all your personal trucks, it seems. This thing is looking gnarly now with that front grill and bumper and the snorkel. That looks minty. Beefy tires. So the truck store actually has a ton ton of trucks in it guys i am pumped to play this game and just unlock some of these it does appear there are vehicles here that are from other manufacturers as well that are not just from north america so i'm really excited to unlock these and play with those but for the time being let's see what alaska has in store for us i want to pick up some contracts i want to see if we can get some jobs done and make some money let's see what we got whoa there is a lot a lot of contracts well, that is so cool. Interesting. Well, I guess let's do the pipeline contract here. What do we need? We got a virgin contract for you. Local fuel companies building the pipeline and they just hired us a subcontractor to deliver everything they need fast. They need service spare parts. Where do I get those? Service hub here and uh, I need to get them to here. So two loads of service parts. I wonder what kind of trailer I need. You know what? We'll just get the big trailer this time. <gasps> Hopefully I have enough money. I just spent a bunch of money on upgrades. <laughs> How do I actually activate it? There we go. Perfect. Okay, so I got to go get those parts. Let's get a trailer going here. How much money do I have? Oh man, I really hope I have enough money. I just blew a bunch of money on silver stuff oh, okay so i can buy the fuel trailer which is fine that's okay let's buy the big one excellent how much can we sell them for you know what i don't want to try because it's probably less and i'll just end up not being able to buy it back nice now we got a long trailer hopefully this thing can tow it or i'm gonna have to sell it and buy the smaller one but i guess we'll find out the hard way that's usually the best way to do it right <laughs> oh by the way i wanted to address one thing and for whatever reason in the last episode my recording settings the ones that i normally use for all 
my recordings just did not like SnowRunner. I actually fixed that up and I think it should be better this time. Of course, the game just decided to lag there for a bit, but that's uh, not my fault. <laughs> I'm actually having a hard time driving with this trailer. It's hard to turn with it and stuff. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> yeah, the roads, are, uh, the roads are quite icy. I really should have maybe taken a bit of a trip without a trailer just to kind of uh, you know mess around, but we'll get to that. We'll have some fun. There's a lot of fun to be had. Oh man, this is so cool so far. I think I'm coming up to the service area here. At least that's what the checkpoint chose. Oh, I'm not even using all-wheel drive. Boom. Oh, 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 careful, careful, careful. This is a task zone. You have to enter it to a task and get additional information. All right, 10-4. I'm just going to do a little Yui here. Let's do a... And now handbrake. Nope, it doesn't work that way. <laughs> I've got a trailer. It's not going to work. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. It's not going to like the snow I'm going to go through. I can already imagine. What do we have? Service parts. That's what I needed. I need service parts. I need two of them. Cool. I wonder what's in here. Oh no, okay, we need all-wheel drive. This is gonna, this is gonna be rough. Probably should have done one at a time. Task for small objectives, da, da, da. Okay, well, I don't have time for this, sir. I don't have time for this. Oh boy, oh boy, I hope we make it. This is so cool, though. Hauling it, with, and you can, oh, the suspension sagging in the rear. Love it. I love it. So now, we have to make it back down the road, through our little garage section. Wait, where are we? Oh, yeah, we're good. We're good, we're good, we're good. We're good. Got a little confused. Don't mind me. I still can't get over how awesome this game is. I am so pumped that I bought it. It's really nice that they have more than just logging now, you know? I haven't even, I mean, I haven't even seen any logging stuff, but it seems like it's all about contracts and whatnot, so... Pretty, uh, pretty excited here. Just making our way back here. Hopefully we don't uh, jackknife the trailer. Oh man, oh man. It's so cool watching that suspension work. Oh, oh, not having a good time. You can see the trailer just pulling it to the side. Oh, that's neat. We can knock the rocks out of the way. Oh boy, oh boy, this is, this is what I was talking about. <laughs> this is what I was talking about. I gotta come back here and drift this section of the road. This is, this is gonna be minty. Let's go deliver these supplies. Oh geez, we're drifting again. Oh boy. How fast are we going? Let's see. Oh no. Oh no, don't go off the road. Eh, we're going like 30 miles an hour. Still under the speed limit. Let's be real, we're pulling a big trailer here. Oh no, oh no, we're about to get into the rough. We're in the rough. Can it make it? Can it even make it? It's it's working. It's definitely pulling it slowly. I actually just noticed the bumper has lights of its own. I wonder if they work. They do work. That's so cool. Okay, well, we're slowly making it. I mean, we're doing quite well. This sun glare is quite a, quite a menace. This is awesome. Let's take a screenshot. I can't take a screenshot because it's not steam. <laughs> okay. Okay, we're actually almost out of the rough here. This is excellent. I'm loving this. Look at that mud and snow deforming. I love it. I think we can throw it into auto again. I uh, misshifted. <laughs> there we go. Back out on the road. I wonder why that one section there just like, eh, whatever. Like, guys, everything else is paved. Just finish it. <laughs> I'm not sure why the game is lagging. I've tried uh, lowering the settings a bit and it still looks good, but it's still lagging a bit. Maybe there's performance issues. Who knows? Alrighty, we're at the pipeline. Perfect. Uh, we should probably bag this trailer in. Let's be professional. Let's bag this trailer in. How do we do this without jackknifing it? Beautiful. Let's pull it out and it will back her right in. Gotta do it right, you know? Beep, 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 beep. I'm screwing up so hard. Remember how I was saying last episode I'm really good at backing up trailers? Yeah, I'm gonna go edit that part out. Beep, beep, darn it. Beep, beep. Okay, we're good. Beep. No, we're not. Beep, beep. Okay, okay, we're good. You know what? I'm just gonna zigzag all the way there. <laughs> uh, this is embarrassing. I was doing so well. Okay, you know what? I don't even care anymore, dude. Unload. Excellent. I shall accept my monies. Nice. And I, now I open that section of the of the map, it looks like. Excellent. All right, what do we got now? You know what? I want to disconnect the trailer and I want to mess around with the truck a little bit. So let's go do that. All righty, guys. I lowered the settings even more and it does seem to be performing better. It still looks great. So I'm just going to leave it at that. And uh, I don't know, man. It seems like SnowRunner is going to be the game that makes me upgrade my... My graphics card. <laughs> oh, dude, I love this. It's definitely a lot easier with no load on the back, that's for sure. I'm in auto right now, and we're just we're just plowing through it. Look at that. Look at that mud. Look at that mud. It's no longer snow. It's just mud. And that's what I love about it, right? Is that there was snow there, but now you know you've you've dug it all up, so you've got a bunch of mud there now, and it stays like that. At least I think it stays like that. Very cool. All right, let's pull in here. Unhook the trailer. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. I'm gonna crash. Unhook the trailer, and then maybe go for a little drift ski. You know, see what we can get up to. Excellent. Time to hoot around. No all-wheel drive, because, you know, we gotta do them drifts. That front bumper is hanging off so much. It's so long. <laughs> 
New trailer discovered. A flatbed. Where, 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 where? Oh, well, that's cool. I discovered this thing. That's kind of neat. That looks like it would be for logs or maybe for like uh, metal pipes, metal tubing. Who knows? Is there other stuff we can discover around here? Probably. But let's go drift. It's getting dark out. Oh, boy. Watch me crash. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, this is awesome. What? <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> Almost crashed it. Oh, I love it. <laughs> Somebody in my comments was like, "Man, you gotta, you gotta do some drifting." And uh, boy, were they right. I definitely had to do this. This is awesome. Let's see if we can get some more curves here. If not, we'll just turn around and hit that turn again. I almost linked that whole thing too. That was cool. Trick is to like slam the e-brake and then release it right away because you can't actually. Uh, it's like on a kind of toggle. You can't just push it and hold it and then let go. We're going further than we've ever been. This is scurry. Okay, let's do this. Let's do this drift right here. Oh no! <laughs> yeah. Um. I don't think we're gonna be doing much drifting there. What does that say? No wide vehicles. Do not follow sat nav. Interesting. I thought it said do not follow Slav. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, you probably shouldn't follow a Slav. He's just gonna lead you somewhere where there's bears and vodka and AK-40. I don't know. I should have just done this right off the bat. Who needs money when you can go drifting? Okay. Ah, uh, it's a little nah. That wasn't good. That was weak. All the side roads seem to be just mud and snow. So really, this seems to be our only uh, drift opportunity here. Oh no! <laughs> that snowbank saved us. That's for sure. Oh, there, I thought I lost an axle there for a second. I was like, well, there. Uh, there go our drifting adventures. <laughs> Guys, this... If you can get this game, I certainly recommend it. It's uh, its a load of fun. I'm having a blast. This map just feels huge, actually. So I don't know how much bigger it is than the other ones. But I think there's multiple maps as well. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Six damage. Perfect. Ooh, what do we got here? I guess this is a bridge repair discovered. Oh, okay. Cool. Well, now we know. And we know we can get here. So that should be an easy one. I want to see if this thing is capable of just going into all-wheel drive and trekking up this hill right here in the snow i don't think so but i want to try i think i can always go back maybe unless i get royally stuck low gear let's see if she can go she's slowly making it up that's pretty good man i gotta get me a chevy ck 1500 in real life now this thing seems really capable <laughs> in reality it's like rotting out and everything's falling off of it and dude i'm not stuck i'm having fun this game's stressing about me and i'm like chill got a crazy lag spike there that was that was interesting clearly this truck is capable of crawling up this hill so you know we're just gonna go back to drifting we proved our point let's see if we can get back out <laughs> do we have nope we don't have low and high beams just just high beams it seems actually that seems really bright i guess low beams are always on you know daytime running lights or whatever they're not very they don't illuminate the road very well oh geez oh geez <laughs> i forgot it was reverse so like why am i still going in reverse i'm pressing w what i really like about this game compared to mud runner is that when you go fast in your truck it doesn't just randomly break like that that oh dude dude this drift this this drift come on hold it nah missed it oh come on come on <laughs> okay we gotta go back and we gotta try this corner again but yeah in mudrunner if you go fast like that it actually starts like breaking your vehicle the physics aren't meant for fast travel so it uh it just conflicts with something and you get damage every uh like every second when you drive fast in mudrunner anyway that's a cool story if you want me to tell it again let me know in the comments all right we can turn around hit some rocks it's all good we got a heavy duty bumper bumper 35 miles an hour let's go dude Go, 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 drift, drift, come on, kind of, kind of, oh, uh, I, I corrected too much in the other direction, well, I'm definitely gonna have to get the hang of that, we got a bit more road to go in the other direction too, so let's check it out, and then maybe do another contract or something, make a little more dosh, gotta upgrade my rig, man, and I wanna buy another rig, I actually haven't checked where the refuel station is, Hmm, probably should look into that before I run out of fuel. That'd be a good idea. Oh no, oh no, that's a, oh no, that's a pole. Oh boy. Okay, yeah, yeah, that, that was, that was great. That was good. Good driving, Cosmo. We haven't tested our snorkel yet. I mean, water's probably really cold here too. The guy would probably get like frostbite and hypothermia if we try to do a water crossing. Watch him just like scratch his head and face bomb the whole time like he usually does. Except now it's because his legs are gonna have to be amputated. Where is this fuel station? Let's take a look at that. 
Uh, oh, we can probably refill at the garage. What am I? I'm, I'm being silly. Let's do that. Oh, gas this way. Wow. As I'm talking about it, there's a sign that says gas this way. <laughs> well, let's go get some gas. Oh, what? Oh, there's the water I asked for. Is this ice? Is it gonna shatter? It's not. It's just ice. Can I just do donuts? That's all I, that's all I ever want to do. I just want to do donuts. Yeah, it's not having it. It's just spinning tires. I like how it's like gas this way and it's literally a lake. Well, that was fun. A bit of ice skating on a truck. This nighttime used to end. I don't like it. It's really slow. Okay, I guess I was in low gear, but still, it's really slow. Oh boy, I guess it's spinning a lot on the ice. Now we're moving though. Now we're booking it. Sweet. A little drift onto land. Oh boy. Oh, there, there goes the engine. Sure, I'm glad I'm not spending this episode going the wrong way the whole time, though. <laughs> Money in real life would just be so much fun. Just trying to find traction and, you know, finding the best route. Ah, uh, I'd love it. One thing I know is when going through a mud pit on a motorcycle, like an enduro or a dirt bike or a dual sport, whatever, just go through it. If you stop, that's, that's game over. <laughs> Come on, you can do it, old girl. Nice, she's booking it. I'm gonna see if I can get a little more traction on the side here, or if I'll just dig into it. Ah, it looks like I'm digging into it. Darn it. Okay, gas this way. Can we just cut across here to get gas? Is this a terrible idea? Am I making bad decisions right now? I mean, nobody's stopping me, so it must not be a must not be a horrible idea. A few inches later. Yeah, this was a terrible idea. Wow, we've burned through so much fuel just trying to get here. We're gonna burn through like 10 liters just getting back. We really should have brought that trailer. Oh well, lesson learned, right? <laughs> awesome, it's right there. Hopefully we'll make it out of here by uh, by tomorrow morning. Seeing as how long this has taken us. <laughs> fuel up, fuel up, fuel up. What else do we have here? What is this? I guess it's a delivery area or I, or I do missions from here. Who knows? Let's check our missions. Let's see what we have here. Alrighty guys, so it does seem like there's a ton of missions, a ton of contracts to be done but I think I'm going to go back to the garage and I am going to do a bit more drifting and also see if I can outfit the truck a little better I really should have brought the fuel trailer because I already used four liters this is nuts <laughs> well I am uh, I'm stuck I'm finally stuck so let's winch up here and just wow that poor tree had no chance okay how about you oh no <laughs> nothing's working Who's next? Who's the next victim? I think I found a pole. Nice. Electrical pole. Wow. Still stuck. That's probably why they tell you not to go this way. Well, they don't tell you not to go this way. They don't tell you to go this way. Probably for a good reason. Oh, geez. That poor tree. Hopefully nice. But it got me to that post. So I should be good here. <laughs> I love how I just skipped out on work to uh, drift my truck. The ultimate uh, savage move, I guess you could say. Where's my license plate? Yeah, my license plate's all banged up, I think. Whatever. The license plate says savage, so... <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Got good speed. Good speed. Come on. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so about that. <laughs> oh jeez. <laughs> I totally forgot that's where the bridge needs to be repaired. Whoopsie daisy. Snow drifting is so fun. Or ice drifting in this case. Do a little drifty here. A little drifty boy. Per oh, 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 oh. Hit the suspension. Oh no. Oh no. Counter steer. Come on. Don't lose speed. Come on. Oh, <laughs> I did it again. I drove into that snowbank every time. Okay, well, clearly that's not my corner. So we'll just keep going straight here. 55 miles an hour. How are you supposed to go 55 miles an hour on this road? It's almost 100 kilometers an hour. That's suicide. Okay, that was a pretty good drift-ish until I, you know, almost flipped my truck and did 17 damage. No power steering is a little, a little tough. You have to bring the steering back to neutral yourself every time. Actually, does this have power steering? I guess it does. Okay, never mind. I lied. I guess it does have power steering. I just suck. I'm trying to come up with any excuse I can for my crappy driving. <laughs> oh no, 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 no. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. We're so close. This will actually be a good corner on the way back if we get some good speed. I just want some daylight, man. Can we get some daylight in here? Honestly, spin tires, like all of the spin tires games, they always screw me with the darkness. They're like, hey, man, you know what would be fun? Playing in the dark and also not trashing your engine because you need that drive. Yeah, speaking of. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, wow. Now I'm just, now I'm, I just... I need to quit. My engine condition isn't good. I need to repair it. <laughs> oh man, my fender's all messed up. This is what drifting does, guys. It just, it breaks your cars. That's, that's all it ever does. Nothing good comes out of drifting. I think it's time to go back to the garage and uh, maybe fix it up. Bring it up into good shape. Oh my goodness. 
Stop. I think, like, the more I break it, the worse it gets to drive. <laughs> the engine's stalling. I broke my truck. Oh, no. This is what happened. Don't take your car drifting, guys. Don't take your daily driver drifting. Man, this poor thing. Oh, I'm an all-wheel drive. That's why I couldn't drift. I'm so... Ah, well, anyway. <laughs> Let's go fix the truck. I can literally only drive in low gear. It's just, it's just not having it. Oh my goodness, I'm going the wrong way. What did I just say about, you know, not wasting any time this episode going the wrong way? Why am I like this? Somebody help me. <laughs> I don't want to see the damage. I know there's a lot of damage. I don't want to see the damage. Oof, that sounds horrible. Oh, she made it into auto. I was literally right here, and I'm like, nope, this is not where I need to go. All right, let's see if we can fix it. Can we fix? Truck is fully repaired. Awesome. Cool. All right, let's go back. I want to go back out. More drifting. Go. I still want to do some proper drifts, especially now that we have light again. Let's see if we can, uh... I hate my life. So as I was saying, <laughs> now that it's light out again, let's uh, let's do a couple more drifts. The truck is all fixed up. Let's try not to crash into the front gate here again. Oh boy, oh boy, yeah, just crash into the other things. I really wish there was a proper handbrake. I'll try braking uh, with the regular brake and see if that helps it drift more. Nope, nope, that just locks it up. <laughs> Fishtails nicely though. There we go. Nope. Oh, oh. That was, that was decent. That was a nice long drift-ish. Not a lot of angle, but, you know, we slid. We did a slidey boy. Oh, boy. I drove into the bank there. No bueno. <laughs> Alrighty, we're at the end of the road here. I'm gonna turn around, and I'm gonna do one more run back down this road and see how we do. I don't have high expectations, but let's see how we do. Put it in all-wheel drive for now, get some speed, stick it back in rear-wheel drive, even though you probably never do that in real life. <laughs> do it on the go like that. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Yeah, yeah, Cosmo Epic Drifter. Really? What are you stuck on? What could you possibly be stuck on? I'm stuck on a rock. I'm literally stuck in a giant boulder. Come on, come on. Wow, I'm not even mad. That's impressive. Come on, reverse. There we go. We're good. We're good. Truck's a little beat up again, but we're good. Drifting's not working out for me. Clearly, I need a little more practice. <laughs> See if this treacherous corner will cooperate with me. Kind of, sort of, ish. It's just, it's so hard to, uh... Yeah, I keep making excuses. That's all I'm doing. Come on. Come on. Oh, that was pretty good-ish. Until I hit that snowbank. Come on. Just fishtailing at this point. Okay, gotta get her straight. Get her straight. I said straight. Oh, no. Oh, no. Come on. No. I think my entry was a little too late. I think that was the issue there. Don't hit the rock. Don't hit the rock. Drifted around the rock. That was minty. Come on, drift. Oh, I hit that rock and it stopped my drift. Oh, I love that it's daylight again. It sucks when it's night out. You just see so much more stuff when it's light out. I mean, yeah, that's how daytime and nighttime works. I know. I know I said that was the last run, but one more run, guys. Just, just gotta do it. It's way too much fun. Get some speed here. Now, I gotta remember to enter early. So, like, right here? Kind of? Ish? Sort of? It didn't hit anything, so... Oh, no, no. Spoke too soon. I tried to correct, and that yeah, that was that was the end of that. Look how slippery that road looks, though. You just know I'm gonna get to the end of this, and I'll be like, hey guys, one more time, one more time, I promise. That's how fun this is, though, is I could do this forever. Guys, somebody gotta get those rocks off the road. That's dangerous. It's messing with my drifting. Oh, not enough angle. <laughs> I should have let go of the gas there, but you know, send it. Whee! Alrighty, well, there you have it, guys. The second episode of SnowRunner. We finally have snow. It is everything that I wanted it to be. I'm really excited to keep playing this game, unlock more trucks, do more contracts, explore the map further. Clearly, we don't just have to unlock watchtowers and uh, explore the map, but we also have to get supplies to certain areas so that we can fix bridges and get rid of barricades and actually be able to explore those areas. So that's really neat. I'm really looking forward to that. Please let me know what you think about this game so far. I know it's not my usual content and I know some of you guys have expressed that and I really, really appreciate all of your feedback. But definitely let me know what you guys think of this game so far and of this series. Let me know if you would like to see more of it, maybe some ideas of what you want to see. And if there are any YouTubers that you want me to collaborate with, let them know. Let them know in their comments because I am not that big of a YouTuber and a lot of people that are playing this game are much, much bigger than me and I don't know if they notice me. So I need your guys' help. If there's somebody you want 
want me to collab with, let them know and uh, maybe they'll notice. But without further ado, if you did enjoy the video, please hit the like button below. It really helps the video get out there and be seen by other people. It uh, does good stuff for the algorithm. And if you're not subscribed yet, subscribe with notifications if you want to stay up to date with all the upcoming videos. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!